In this video, I wanted to follow up on something we did in class, which was looking at this theorem, which says that if you have a field whose characteristic is not 2, so that means that if you look at the number 2 in the field, where the number 2 means 1 plus 1, that that number 2 is not actually 0. So an example of this would be z mod 2z, where the, the number 2 in z mod 2z actually is the same as 0. So we don't want to worry about those fields. But if you're not in one of those fields, and you take two elements such that the square root of each of those elements, along with the square root of the product of those elements, is not in the base field k, then the field extension you get by adjoining the square root of a and the square root of b to k has dimension 4 over the base field k. Now, in class we proved that you could take a field like this and you could find a subfield right, uh, between k and the whole field, and then the dimensions would break up in the following way. So for instance, if we first extended k by the square root of b, and then extended k adjoining the square root of b by the square root of a, the dimensions we get, when we multiply them, we'll get the dimension of the entire field extension. And the claim is that this is going to have degree 4. Now in class we considered, well, this lemma except where k was equal to q, but the exact same proof we use in class will still work here. So if you have any field k, and you take an element whose square root is not in k, then k adjoining the square root of a is going to have dimension 2 over k. All right, so actually if we look at this decomposition, the second factor, k adjoining the square root of b over k, that is going to have to have dimension 2. Why? Well, because by assumption, the square root of b is not in k. Which means what we're essentially say saying in this theorem is that this dimension is still going to be 2. And the way we're going to prove it is actually by using the lemma again, where we replace k by k adjoining the square root of b, which is still a field anyway. So let's do that. Let's let L equal k adjoin the square root of b. L is a field. And what we would love to be able to show is that the square root of a, which is what we're adjoining to L here, is not an element of L. Because if it's not an element of L, then the field extension is going to have degree 2. So we want to show that the dimension of L adjoining the square root of A over L, that this dimension is 2. All right, and by the lemma, it suffices to show that the square root of A is not in L. By the lemma, it suffices to show square root of A is not an element of L, which was K adjoined the square root of B. Okay, so to show this, well, it does a proof by contradiction. Let's assume you could put it in here. If you could, then you're going to be able to write it as you know, some R plus S root B. So if the square root of A is in K adjoined the square root of B, then the square root of a equals r plus s root b for some r and s in k. Furthermore, we know that s is not 0. If s is 0, then root a equals r, which is an element of k. And we assume that the square root of a is not an element of k. So we also know that s is not equal Zero. Okay, so how about we solve for uh, this r, perhaps? So if we solve for r, let's see, we'll get r equals uh, a square rooted minus s times the square root of b. Uh, now let me square this. So 
if I square it, I'll have r squared is equal to a minus, I guess that would be uh, s squared b. And then we get minus 2s square root of a square root of b. So that's going to be square root of ab. All right. So I'm going to toss everything without a square root onto the other side. So let's see. We get negative 2s square root of ab equals r squared minus a plus s squared b. Now, we know that s is not equal to 0, so I could divide everything by s. Of course, I could divide everything by negative 1. I would love to be able to divide everything by 2. That's where we need this assumption that 2 is not equal to 0. If 2 is equal to 0, I can't divide by it. But I've assumed it's not equal to 0, so I'm allowed to divide by all of this, negative 2s. So, we get that the square root of AB is equal to uh, negative 1 over 2s times r squared minus a plus s squared b. Now where did all these things live? Okay, r and s, uh, they came from k. a and b, uh, they came from k as well. Which means this entire expression lives in k. Which means that the square root of AB lives in k. But that's a contradiction, because we assume the square root of AB was not an element of K. So where did this contradiction come from? Well, it came from our assumption that the square root of A was an element of K to join root B. It's not an element. And therefore, by the lemma, we know that the extension we get when we replace K with L here, L adjoined root A is going to have dimension 2 over L. And so we'll end up with a 2 here. And 2 times 2 is equal to 